Hey everybody, so today I'm here to share with you guys a Toy Story birthday supply haul and also what it all looks like together. So if you're new to my channel or my videos, our youngest daughter Lexi is turning two at the end of August. So this is everything that I got for her birthday party. And after I get done with this bit, at the end I'll show you how it all came together. I'll also link as much as I possibly can down below for you, including Etsy shops, things on Amazon, all that. But uh, there is a couple of things. You're gonna see our main table looks like a sunny side daycare box that the toys get taken in. We got a giant piece of cardboard just from something that we ordered and I ordered this huge roll of craft paper off of Amazon. So I'll link the craft paper down below but that's all we used for that. This right here is actually going to be the backdrop behind the table and as you can see it's a fabric material so i wanted to do andy's bulletin board that's in his room please don't mind my busted nails i somehow thought that i was going to have time to redo them before this video i am literally filming this the day of her party so <laughs> we can see how well that went just please ignore them anyways so this is fabric i knew that i wanted to do the bulletin board but a traditional one is a little too heavy and I knew that it probably, something wouldn't just stick to the background and I didn't wanna ruin this either, the cloud background that is. So what I did is I actually took a piece of white foam board, glued two strips of felt that have some flaps on each side. So I didn't entirely glue it down, but enough so it's secure and on there. And then I got this cork contact roll that's meant for like cupboards or something put it on top of there use an exacto knife to just trim it up and make it the exact portion of this foam board and that way i can use safety pins to put in the back of this felt and then hang it onto here without ruining anything and this is super lightweight now these little poster drawings is a digital download from etsy so i'll link that and then this is a picture of lexi from halloween she was bo peep and then that's from her first birthday so really cute i also got the push pins off of amazon so there's that really proud of it, that idea. It was a little bit of a process to figure all that out. Then the next thing are these boxes. So I wanted to use these as decoration on the bar, on the table, wherever. So just obviously over time as shipments from anything came in, I kept boxes that looked similar to what they were in the movie and I wrapped them with craft paper. I actually found this roll at my Dollar General and it's actually pretty good quality. It didn't rip or tear at all. I was actually really impressed by it. So I just wrapped these boxes so they were absolutely plain because obviously a lot of boxes come with things printed on them now. And then one night I just sketched out the drawings from each of the different boxes with pencil and then I went over it with crayon. And you know what? The beauty of this is it's supposed to look like a seven-year-old boy did it. So my recommendation is to lean into that. But the more I just didn't try and I just tried to be like really chaotic <laughs> with coloring, they actually turned out so nice. Very happy with them. This picture right here is actually an, the same uh, digital download as the bulletin board back there. So those are some DIY things that I wanted to share with you first and foremost. And then I got this glitter cutlery that has primary colors. I leaned into that a lot just because obviously with Toy Story, it goes with it. And then I just got these napkins and a three pack of tablecloths from Walmart. All of this was from Walmart. These were only like a dollar fifty, dollar a few dollars. I don't need all three, but I use uh, white tablecloths really often, especially with the backdrops. I plan on using one of these to put behind that fabric one I showed you, so it's a little bit more opaque. And then as far as balloons go, this Airwalker Buzz Balloon, <laughs> these things are so expensive. It was like $20 itself, but the kids love these things. I get one themed for each of their birthdays and they love it now. So I got this from an Etsy shop incredibly fast shipping. I've ordered several times from their shop now. Can't recommend it enough. This number two lime green balloon and these are a pack of clear balloons from Amazon. And then we have ham. 
It's actually a functional piggy bank too. So it'll go in her room, which is Toy Story themed right now as well after the party. And then I got some fake play gold coins. This was totally unnecessary, but I saw a picture on Pinterest and I just had to do it. So back here, this is full of things that I use to make the cupcakes and cookies. So at this point, those things are already done, which is new to my videos for parties. Normally, this is filmed days before, but we can see how on the ball I am. So this to infinity and beyond, this is a little felt topper I got off of Amazon. It's actually really nice quality for what I was expecting. So these cookie cutters are what I used for a couple of them. This is the Etsy shop down here, Best Box Crew. I'll link it, like I mentioned, but I got Woody's shoe and I got Buzz's spaceship. So I used those. I made little forkies myself you know, pretty self-explanatory for what you need. I just used a blue Sharpie for his mouth, red pipe cleaner for the arms and the eyebrow, and two different size googly eyes. You can get all this from Walmart. The sporks you might have to get off of Amazon, but just kind of depends what your store has. So, you know, again, this is made to look like it's made from a five-year-old, which is really nice. It's forgiving. So put these together. I'm going to insert a little clip on how I made these because I thought I would have to trim it up, but I actually just used one whole pipe cleaner and you have to make the fingers really small because you're going up and down so many times. And then after I got that finished, I would just fan it out a little bit and put a little kink right underneath for his wrist and it worked out really well. So I have a bunch of these, just wanted to show you one. I also have a bunch of these bow, pe bow peep staffs. We cut these down to size to fit into the cupcakes. This is what a package normally looks like. I got these forever ago from Walmart. So you can see we cut almost half off of there. So these are going in the bow peep cupcakes along with these little bow rings that I got off of Amazon. I was gonna do my Cricut and just cut out some paper, but honestly, this was just far ears easier and since I was doing three different cupcakes I just wanted the ease so I also did alien cupcakes you'll see I originally bought these small eyes which I'll keep because I know I'll definitely use but I actually decided to go with these medium eyes and these worked out so much better these were kind of tricky to work with you either have to have fingernails or you know, tweezers, something like that. This is the food coloring specifically that I used for Bo. So this is the specific color in case you wanted to replicate it, Cornflower Blue by Wilton. A lot of this comes from Walmart. I don't have a craft store around me, so I just rely on what Walmart or Amazon has. And then this number two candle from Walmart. And then for the aliens, I used five drops of just gel green food coloring. So my recommendation with the alien cupcakes if you want to do those do one drop of food coloring at a time just to see the color green that you're going to get it's really potent and it can go a long way and it can get really dark really fast so one drop at a time that's what i would recommend all right and finally on to some small shop stuff so i got this print out of the toy story 2 it's made to look like a little movie poster and i love this i can't wait to hang it in her room she loves all three of these. She can say all their names. It's precious. Love it to death. So this is the shop. Again, I'll make sure to link it down below. I would just order it ahead of time if you live in the States because they do not. So just to give yourself some time for shipping, customs, all that stuff. And I actually have another frame like this one that I'm going to stick this in. So and then this is her banner. I went with this one from Magical Crafts. I will link her shop down below as well. So we've got Bo, Woody, Buzz, and Rex. Adorable. I know she's going to love it. She already saw it and she was able to point them all out and say all their names and too cute. And then lastly, I got this digital download. This was only like $5, guys. This artist has the characters almost like in a watercolor type painting and you can customize it for whatever ne name you want. Her name is Lexi, but I put her middle name in there so it was a little bit longer. We could get more characters in. So Lexi Dean and I just love this so much. I had this 8x10 frame laying around already. Like I said, I have another one for this movie poster. Guys, I'm so excited to put this together. So I'm gonna get off here and the next clip you see will be everything all done and ready to party.